Hi, and welcome to Game Creation, and today we're trying to make the text sort of come up in a nicer way. At the moment, it just comes up and you read it, and then you press shift and it goes on to the next paragraph. And we want something a little bit cleverer than that. Um, what we want is the text to come up a letter at a time, not necessarily like taking ages, but just looking like someone's kind of thinking about it. Um, or whatever kind of design aspect that we're after. But it's the usual way that they do it. Now, you might think what you do is you keep adding letters onto the end, but you don't at all. What you do is you um, present it with one letter and then re-present it with two letters. So you'll just keep updating the string each time slightly longer and slightly longer. There's nothing that I know of that programs it by putting another letter in at the end. And that's kind of the thing to get your head around when you want this effect of it sort of scrolling on a screen rather than just appearing. So let's get started. Um, so we've opened up the same one as we've used. Let's just run it and you can see that it's all oh, the world's looking sandy. Press shift and you go on to the next one and it stays at the bottom there nicely. Right, so I want to click in and this is uh, going to require quite a bit of maths. But the first thing we need to do actually is go into the frame and what I normally do is just create another string. And this string is going to be our desired uh, text. So we've got our actual displayed text, and this is what we desire to have. This is the one where we actually want. So I can just put that on there so we can debug it, but that won't actually be shown to the user. And you could do this with um, variable, uh, with um, um, with variables so you don't see it at all but I think it's a bit easier to explain with another string. So we don't want um, the string to display on screen at all. We want it to display onto string 2. Notice string 1 is still blank and what we want to say is if so um, oh hang on we'll do a, a compare two general values I want to say if the alterable string, which is just the, the text in the string of that and the alterable string of that are different. And for now, what we're going to do is change the alterable string to the same as the other's alterable string. Okay, So if our string we're displaying is different to the string that's off screen, what we want to do is just set the string. So let's run it. And that works perfectly. So this is the one that's hidden, and it's different. Um, it's this just says I think text at the start, and this says the world looks sandy, so it's updated it. Perfect. Now you might think, well, what's the point of that? Okay, bear with me. So if they are uh, different, now we don't want to do that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to reveal it one step at a time. So and this is a bit of maths here. Okay, now what we're interested in is um, the length of string 1. So what we want to do is say length of string 1. So at the start, that will be a 4, but we'll, d we'll clear out the text um, at the start. So that won't, that will be 0 at the start. So that will be 0 at the start. Okay. And what we want to do is we want that to be 1 at the start. So we want to add 1 to it. And what I want to do is I want the left-hand side of this string. And I want it to show. OK, <laughs> this is really complicated. Let's go through it step by step. So this here is the length in fact, I don't want the plus one there, I want the plus one afterwards. There we go. So this is the length of the displayed string. Okay, so it will start at zero. And what I want to do is add one to it and display one character. Okay, so that's the amount of characters I want to show. This left says, get the left bit of the string for the one that's off screen, the one that actually has the text we want. We want the left bit of it, and we just want the first bit. This is the amount of characters that we want to show. right? When that's done, the length of string will then be 1, because it's got one character. But then we'll add 1 to it, so that'll be 2. So we're going to have 2 
of the characters on the left of string two. Okay, and it will increase like that. Okay, and we want one last bit saying that we want it, I don't know, every tenth of a second. Okay, let's see how that works. Oh, lovely. And what I'm just going to do is reset. Okay, so one issue is that we didn't uh, clear out the string. So I just want to change algebra string to nothing to start off with. Let's run the application. That looks perfect. Now you might need to tweak this and go, oh, actually, that's going a bit slow. If it's going a bit slow, what you need to do is just increase the amount of or decrease the amount of time where it updates. Let's just see that. Oh, that looks nice. But one of the issues is if I press shift, it won't do anything. It gets weird because what it does is it's updating the wrong thing. So let's just move that across. And what we want to do is when we click shift, we want to set the always set, set the ultra ball string to, to nothing because uh, otherwise it won't work nicely. So this word looks sandy. Click shift. I'm not sure what to do here. Dot, dot, dot. Excellent. Let's see that again. Well, click Sandy, click Shift, and you get this nice, actually nice interactive kind of um, <laughs> feel to it. It's a lot nicer than, and it might go a bit slow. If you've got long text, I'd always try and fill out the three lines and just judge it then, because the player might have faster reading than it comes up, and then it gets really annoying. So you might want to increase the speed. Um, so you might want maybe just one. It's just a nice quick effect, but it looks a bit quick for me, so just a bit of tweaking on that. So what we've done is we've cleared out the displayed string at the start. Um, we've loaded the string, uh, we've set the delimiter on the string parser from the previous video, loaded it. So start of the frame, the, what, the string off screen that we don't show the player is then loaded, ready to go. And every time the old string, uh, sorry, the um, one-off screen is not the same as the displayed one, it's going to have a little counter. And every f uh, five hundredths of a second, it's going to just show one more character on the screen. And then when you click Shift, it resets the displayed one because we don't want it to display anything because then its character length will be whatever the previous um, sentence was. So it might just show up straight away or it might show up halfway through. It gets a bit weird but we want the one off screen to now have the new string. And all I need to do now is just shift this one off screen so we can have a nice effect. And normally I'd put it up, so I'd probably condense it a little bit because it's not being shown on screen. And I'd put it up here just in case I want a, a larger frame for whatever reason. Um, and there we go, perfect. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, so there's loads and loads of stuff to do. I, I think that it, that bit there is pretty complicated. Uh, so message me if um, if you're not quite following that. You just need to know what left means and what length means. So that's just the string length and that's the left bit of it. And you could have done this with alterable values um, and you could have had an alterable value for the desired length of string. but. Normally with coding, you want to try and keep things as simple as you can. Don't try and introduce new variables, otherwise you'll be knee deep in uh, alterable strings. I mean, back in my when I was starting out, I had hundreds of counters that were just counting things like this. Um, and if there's better ways, if there's quicker ways of doing it, it's always better. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.